In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the best blitz beater in the Trips tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this, this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about focusing on helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. And like I said, in this video, we're going to be going over one of my favorite quick snap or quick blitz beater uh, plays from the Trips tight end offense. I actually just released to my true fan members um, an offensive meta update on the Trips tight end. It's a two-hour breakdown. Um, we've got the first hour up, and we're going to be posting the second hour today. But it's a two-hour breakdown on the Trips tight end, and there's actually more to continue to come in that. So uh, really getting deep into the Trips tight end, I really enjoy running this. It's, it's kind of um, scratching my spread offense itch. If you like to run a spread offense, this is a very similar uh, way to run it, but it actually has a lot of effective concepts. And we're going to break down today a quick snap play that you can use to really get the, your opponent out of the blitz. Now, like I said, if you want to get the true fan membership, what it is, is it's basically um, a $5 membership. So it's once a month, five bucks. And what you get is you get three videos every single week. So every single week you get a offensive meta update. And this week you're actually getting two hours of uh, content um, on trips tight end. And then you also are gonna be getting uh, a defensive meta update where we break down kind of a meta update for the defensive side of the ball. We'll probably do, I think in this week's uh, defensive meta update, we're gonna be working towards sharing um, a match defense that is really good um, out of the big nickel over G. And then the third thing that you get is you get um, a pro player, pro player uh, complete analysis. So when I, when I say complete analysis, we don't just watch a pro player play, but we watch a pro player play and then we actually dissect their scheme for you and break down exactly what they're doing, exactly why they're doing it, what you can learn from it and how you can counter it. So um, three videos every single week, 12 videos every single, one, every single month, and it's gonna allow you to have the most up-to-date tactics and tips in the community and really the deepest level of knowledge that I think I can provide to you guys. So for those of you that are my true fans that really enjoy the channel and really want to support the channel and also want to learn the best of the best stuff that I have, I would encourage you to sign up for that. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. And like I said, it's just five bucks, um, but it is totally worth it. Uh, we've been getting great reviews on that so far and a lot of people have been enjoying the content. Now, in this video, we're talking about, like I said, a quick snap play from Curl Flat. And basically what we want to do, obviously you want to be on the wide side of the field. You don't have to be, though, I, actually. Uh, trips tied in is one of the formations that a lot of people think you have to run to the wide side. You really don't. Um, there's actually some concepts that work really, really well to the short side. Real quick, I want to show, we're going to show you two different, um, two different setups um, that are really, really effective. One is a man setup, and the other one is a zone setup. So the first one is a man setup. As you see right here, um, when this corner on the right side is is over here, like if you see Alexander, so I just shifted to zone. So when it's zone, typically the corner is going to be lined up on the numbers, right? But if it's man, this is why trip side in is so good, you're going to see that this happens right here. He's going to come over here. So what I like about that is it gives you an immediate tell whether they're, whether they're in man coverage or zone coverage. Now, the setup for uh, beating zone co or man coverage is a little bit different than the setup for beating uh, zone coverage. So for beating man coverage, what I like to do is I like to smart route the X receiver. As you see, it's gonna give you this really sharp corner route. And then what I like to do is I like to take the triangle receiver and I'm just gonna motion him across on a drag route. Okay, so you see he's just gonna be on drag. And this is just to help him get off the jam. But what you're gonna see is, you know, you got a nice little simple read, check down, quick read right there to triangle. Now, if you don't wanna motion him because you don't wanna give him any time for adjustments, this is actually a fairly effective concept, especially um, if they're not pressing you, is you can just, you always wanna smart route the corner out first um, because it allows you to get the extra hot route in. But anyways, we're going to put triangle on a on an out route or a whip route. Either one of those are up to you. We're going to leave the standard post route right here. Um, but what you'll see is this corner route will typically beat main main coverage. Now, if you're playing in regs and you don't trust that corner route because you don't trust the route running on the tight end, there's an adjustment that you can do. Um, all you're going to do is you're just going to smart route circle and then put X on the out route just like this right here. The reason I like this is this out route is 100% of the time going to work. It's not, it's not as... Um, big play-ish, but it will work. The other thing that you can do is you can actually smart route the out route, and a smart routed 10 yard out route with that post route coming over the top 
you can hot rub that pretty quickly. And what you'll see is you just get really you just get cleaner separation because there's more there's more time for the defender to basically trail the um, the wide receiver. So that's that's another option if you want to do that. What I like, but I would rather um, save that hot route for this triangle on the out route. And the reason why is because if they don't press you, which if they're in cover zero, it's very unlikely that they're going to press you. What you'll be able to do with this quick out is just throw it quick to the sideline and have an immediate, you know, five five to seven yards. You can also put him on a whip. Uh, let me show you that concept real quick. So I'm just all I'm doing is just blitzing heavy blitz, and I'm just shading coverage up. And um, the beauty of this play is you've got so many options. But you see, if he doesn't get jammed, that whip route is going to be a pretty good, pretty good read. And then if they're if they are jamming, let's say they're in, um, let's say they're in cover two man, then you're going to notice that if I just simply do that adjustment, um, you're going to see the the corner route to the tight end will typically beat man coverage a lot better than it will beat or uh, beat. Uh, cover two man a lot better than it'll be anything else because cover two man is like shaded down you know kind of principles so you can apply you know you can kind of apply that to this to this this setup the smart routed out route against man coverage will still will still work pretty well uh, against cover two man that time we got bagged but but anyways and then i didn't even talk about the number one or the number two one and two routes on this place and that's the circle route um or whoops that's this uh, this route to circle. So um, again, we're just gonna do that. And if you watch this route to Godwin, he's pretty much always gonna get inside position. And you're gonna see you're just gonna be able to pass lead to the inside, easy read against man. And then the other thing that you've got going for you, you just have a lot going for you on this play. If they're, if they're in man coverage, if you put that zig out there, pretty much every, you have something for every kind of man coverage. Um, you can lowball this curl right on the cut as you see, very easy, very simple, uh, and very effective against man. And then the last thing that I want to show you is this running back route. This is more, um, it's not as much of a blitz beater because if they blitz you, um, he's going to stay in the block. As you'll see right here, he kind of stays in the block. Once he goes out, um, and of course I didn't get a good. What's interesting is they'll actually glitch out me and coverage a lot. But typically, um, if they're... You know, if they're doing max coverage, you're gonna have one of those other two reads open. So I'm just gonna show you. I'll just, I'll just show you like this. But basically, what you'll see is with this running back, um, we're gonna do that adjustment right there. And if you were to watch the running back here, um, the, his guy will come down half the time. His guy will blitz. But as you see, he's just gonna check release and basically beat man-to-man -man coverage. So now let's talk about zone coverage um, and specifically zone pressure. Uh, whoops. Let's talk about zone pressure. So this play is really, really good against zone pressure. I think it's actually one of the best. It's good against regular zone two, but it's really, really good against like Mike Blitz three with the hard flats that a lot of people like to run. So the five man pressures. So what you're gonna basically do, if they do something like this, which this is common, right? This is very common. If their user is standing over here, this is like my favorite thing to do, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route the corner and we're gonna hitch circle, that's it very simple setup and very fast to set up and basically you're looking at the linebacker on the left if the linebacker blitzes just throw the ball to circle if the linebacker blitzes just throw the ball to circle is automatic it is it is truly one of my favorite reads um, in the game right now because the thing is if they shift their D line most of the time to stop the run they're gonna have to stand here if they're standing over here um, if they're standing over there, then that's one thing. Um, you don't throw, I wouldn't throw a circle, but what I would do is just check down to the back. Okay, so you've got two quick reads. Against zone, the running back will typically release even if there's pressure, so just understand that. Uh, I wanna show this other route, or this other um, concept on the left. So if they put a vert hook over there to stop the hitch, I just want you to watch uh, how this is gonna work. You're gonna see, you can still throw that inside. So I'm just throwing inside pass lead, and I'm gonna hit it every single time. The other thing though, is that what they'll start doing is they'll do basically this. This is like the one adjustment that they can do that's gonna cause you the most problems is they can sit over here on the back route and then they can maybe, let's just put like a curl here. Um, and then, I mean, this is like super adjusty, right? But this is what they could do, okay? So if you see something like this, the beauty of this, this coverage shell 
is basically all you're going to do is just you you can try to pass it this over the corner but if they got a good corner out there i wouldn't recommend it but what you can do is you can work your backside check down so i'll show you what i'm talking about so if i put this guy uh, a purple put this guy a yellow um this guy here on a hook like this right here and, and this is super adjusty but this is probably one of the best ways i can fend it but the beauty of this is you're looking, oh, they've got that covered because that safety comes down. So then I can, and I threw that just a split second too early, but I can throw the curl route on the right side. So I'll show you that one more time and I'll show you where it will actually, the, the only guy that can, if this safety comes down, you know, then that's the, that's where you, you know, that's where you can't hit it. And that's where you, if you want to, um, if you start to notice they're doing that, just streak circle. If you start to notice they're doing that, just streak circle. But you'll see right here, just low ball right there, easy read. So you've got the low ball on that side. Um, so, you know, you've got a lot going for you in this play. And like I said, if they if you start to notice that they're going to do this, most, they, it's very unlikely they're going to do that adjustment, I'm just telling you, because it's very vulnerable. But if they do something like this right here, and you start to notice, like, this is what they're doing to stop this quick snap, you still are going to be able to quick snap. All you're going to do is you're just going to change the hitch to a streak. So it's still the same concept. They're adjusting and you're just dotting right over the top. Easy read. You know, every now and then, every now and then you can just try that um, if you start to notice they're getting over adjusting to the offense. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. This is going to help you beat the blitz. It's going to help you beat, um, you know, pretty much zone blitzes and man blitzes. This will still be able to beat a lot of zone coverages. Um, it's just really, really good, specifically against the blitz. And the cool part is you can snap it, snap the ball, like, really, really quickly, uh, which is going to allow or force your opponent not to be able to adjust his defense, which if they're running Mike Blitz 3, they're going to have to make a ton of adjustments to be able to stop this route combination. So thanks for watching this video. And if you want to learn my uh, entire trips tight end scheme, I have an offensive guide on it in the description. And then I've got an expanded meta update on it in our true fan membership. So both links are going to be down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.